On today's Ideal Cooking in Carla's Kitchen, we're going to do a poached salmon, which is one of my very favorite recipes because um, it's so moist. Now, I got this recipe from my daughter-in-law, Cassidy, and uh, I changed the way. I, I still barbecue it and other things, but just love how uh, tasty this is. Now, we start, best thing to start with is some fresh, wild, I, I say that to the farm raised wild, sockeye salmon or other kinds of salmon. This is sockeye. It's beautiful. And I'm cutting this in six ounce pieces. Uh, most The thing with your uh, program is you need to know, oh, that's not cutting very easy, you need to know your size portion. So I take this piece and it should cut up in uh, six, some very nice six ounce pieces. So I'm going to take that, uh, put it here, and of course this last one is thinner, so it'll be a little bigger than the others. Okay, and I think the secret, the same secret to salmon is my halibut is I don't overcook it, undercook it a little. Uh, take just a little bit of olive oil and put it on the bottom, mostly for sticking, and I'm going to put the salmon on there just like it was. So this is um, recipes to serve four. Take some salt and pepper, I use um, sea salt. Uh, it's better for you and more tasty. And I've cut everything up ahead of time to make my videos go a little faster. Uh, YouTube, it, they, they are uh, an issue with YouTube that I take a little longer. Okay. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of olive oil on the top of this. Not much. This recipe isn't even really a teaspoon of olive oil by the time you get done. And then I'm going to uh, squeeze some lemon juice, so that's a quarter of a lemon on the top of it. And then I've cut up some fresh dill. You can use your favorite seasoning. I like dill with my uh, salmon. So I've chopped it up comes in like this container. I've chopped it up already. Put that over the top of it. Then to this I add um, some butternut squash. About half of one. That's, that's this. I've already cut it up into pieces about this size. They're small. And this is what provides the moisture, is the veggies I'm going to add to this. So, um, then I take a zucchini, one of these, you're going to take about half a zucchini, add to it, same thing, put it all around it. This is another thing that's going to provide moisture. And then tomatoes, we're going to take a half a tomato, we're going to put this in it, and this will provide the rest of the moisture for this. That's it. It's going to poach because of the moisture in those vegetables. So we're going to wrap it up. I cook this at a high temperature too, 425, and in 15 to 20 minutes it's going to be perfect. So I'll pull it out um, in 15, 20 minutes and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. 